students i hope you all are staying indoors and taking good care of yourself and your family welcome to today's online session of english lesson number 3 be a good listener before we start with our lesson i'll ask you a question students do you know how many sense organs do we have right we have five sense organs they are the eyes the ears the nose the tongue and the skin so the topic that we are going to study today is related with one of our sense organs and that is the ears ears help us to hear and listen now there is a difference between hearing and listening children are you surprised to know this yes so initially let us see the difference between these two concepts hearing is when the sound reaches our ears automatically during that time we may not be alert or we don't attend the sound purposely for example a car's horn children have you heard the horn of a car yes so you may have observed that we don't try to hear the horn of a car purposely but unknowingly it reaches to our ears now let us see the concept of listening to listen means when we are attentive and when we concentrate on a particular sound here we are active and we pay attention to the sound for example when the teacher tells her students to take out their notebooks everyone listens to her and acts accordingly now children tell me what do you like to listen yes you like to listen interesting and amusing stories like akbar and birbal cinderella and so on next you also enjoy the audio and video programs isn't it children and similarly you also listen to your parents teachers and friends our lesson's name is be a good listener now who is a listener children listener is a person who listens to someone now i will read the lesson and explain you part by part it is important to be a good listener when you are learning a language or when you are dealing with other people students you all know that we have different languages and we are not well acquainted or familiar with all the languages suppose if you are interested in learning a new language like sanskrit the most important thing is that you should be attentive while learning you should listen carefully when the person is teaching you and when we listen to others we also come to know what exactly they want to say are you a good listener tell me children do you listen to your parents teachers and all the elders so let's find out here are some of the questions question 1 when you are listening to someone do you look at the person or do you turn your head away or toy with something else good listeners look at the speaker now children who is a speaker speaker is a person who speaks when someone is speaking with you do you look at that person one of the most important quality to be a good listener is that we should look at the speaker when he is talking to us we should not turn our head away or ignore that person by concentrating on something else suppose children if your teacher is explaining you a very important topic at that time as a student it's your duty to be attentive and look at the teacher your response and facial expressions will help the teacher to understand how far you have understood the topic on another occasion it may also happen that you are watching an interesting tv serial and during that period if your mother calls you and says something you just ignore her but remember children ignorance is not a good quality so we should try to avoid it 
in order to be a good listener question 2 do you pay attention to what the speaker is saying good listeners pay close attention to the speaker close attention means to listen carefully suppose children if we are attending a speech or a lecture which is delivered by an eminent personality that means a famous person we should be alert and attentive and should listen carefully to what the speaker is saying because speeches delivered by great people prove to be a source of inspiration in our life and it also helps us to become someone great it really motivates us a lot question 3 do you make any special efforts to understand the speaker special efforts means do you try to understand the speaker here are some of the things that will help you understand the speaker better if you hear some new or unfamiliar words unfamiliar means unknown or new words try to guess the meaning from the context context here means ideas or statement you can try to guess what the speaker will say next sometimes children it happens that while hearing a speech or lecture we may come across some new or difficult words so we should try to find out the meanings of those difficult words and should also try to guess what the speaker is trying to say so children today we have studied the first three qualities of a good listener i hope you will inculcate all these qualities in order to be a good listener in the next lecture we shall study the other three qualities of a good listener thank you